name is Daniel Rodriguez. I'm a chemistry major and I, I'm going to the Leadership Spring 2014 retreat and I hope to further develop my leadership skills and meet a whole mess of nice people. My name is Mike De Jesus and I'm an exercise science and nutrition major. Um, I'm looking forward for this weekend to learn, gain, gain more knowledge about leadership, gain experience, make new friends. Hey, I'm Ashley Cordero and I'm a social work major at Lehman College and I'm attending the Leadership Retreat to the fourth spring and I hope to have lots of fun. My name is Stephanie, I'm a bio major and I'm looking forward to have fun and meet new people. Leadership Challenge Five Best Practices is um, based on 30 years of research by these people, poses and poses. Um, and they interviewed, I don't think it's millions, but thousands of people who were in a corporate world, students, church leaders. They interviewed these people and they said, What were the, the things about these leaders that made you think that they were good leaders? Like, do you know a good leader? What were the qualities that made them, or the skills that they showed that made them be good leaders? And then they distilled all the answers into five practices. And so these are the five practices. So these are the top five. Good leaders model the way, inspire a shared vision, challenge the process, enable others to act, and encourage the heart. And we'll go in detail for a little bit of each one of these. But let's really put it into practice. Um, who is a leader who you admire, and does that leader at least show about three of those things? Let's see. One of my five leadership practices is to challenge the process because I believe you can't have change without a challenge. What I'm going to encourage you to do is treat your professional emails as if they were business letters. What the rules that you would have followed 20 years ago with a business letter, we're going to adapt those to, to email. Uh, thirdly, I want to give you some suggestions on an important leadership skill, the ability to say no gracefully, the ability to say to deliver bad news gracefully. So I have some specific suggestions for that. An overall communication strategy is maintaining parallel construction or alignment. It goes by various names. We'll look at some examples. This adds great professionalism to everything that you do in communications. And then, as a professor, the number one problem I have in my students' writing is unsighted generalizations and vague language. It is the kiss of death in credibility. The leadership model I prefer is share a vision because you can empower others. So, stress can be positive, like making out, or negative, like studying for finals. But your body can't tell the difference. Because the same hormones and endorphins and stress hormones, neurotransmitters are released when you're making out and when you're studying. Gasp. Isn't that crazy? So imagine you're in college and like me, you maybe make out with a couple people and maybe you study a little bit. And so you're also maybe playing some sports or doing some clubs and stuff like that. And so you have all this stuff going on. Some of it really great, some of it really stressful, you know, really bad, some of it in the middle, but your body can't tell the difference. The leadership model that inspired me is shared vision. I believe when people have a shared vision and a common goal, it makes it easy to achieve the group objective. You're going to take your right index finger and place it in the palm of the person to your right, like so. Well, kind of pointing at them. You know? um, so now, when you hear the word gotcha, you want to grab a finger while trying to escape. So when you hear the word gotcha, you want to grab a finger while trying to escape. Go back to the instructions. What are the instructions? Have someone neutral say it. Have someone just say it. What are the instructions? Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. What are the instructions? Who got a finger? Who got a finger? Everybody? One, two, three. Let's try again. No, it doesn't count. You got it. You got to have that finger. Now I want you to take your left index finger and point it across the circle. Right? You're going to take your right thumb, stick it in the air like so. Real simple thing. And I will say, one, two, three, switch. That's all you gotta do. 
One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. Hello, everybody. So what I want you to do is look around the circle and pick one person in your head. Don't let them know who it is. So you just pick one, choose a person around the circle. And keep that person in your head. Everybody got that person? Now, I want you to pick another person. So now you'll have two people in your house. So when I say go, it is your job to stand in between those two people. No matter, no matter where they move in the room. In the room. I'm in this It's a pin, right? So let me win now. So this is a pin. going to be valued, somebody stick her in. If you're not going to be valued, then your team is going to shut down, right? So we... Okay, so you need everyone on one side. Yes. Just, oh. You want to just walk over? We don't even need to walk over? over. You're going to figure out if there's a knot or a knot. Knot or not knot. And then once we come to a consensus, if there's a knot or a not knot, then we can pull it to figure out. The whole point of it is that... Look at this. Even if there is a knot, the only one side. Who's gonna pick the audience? No, he's a bitch. Someone has to take the point. It is not whether it's knotted or not. The point is to come to a final decision on what we're gonna do, and if it is knotted, then we'll be able to fix it instead of arguing about whether it's knotted or not and never finding out whether it's knotted or not. Learn how to compromise. The idea of learn, learning how to compromise. Right now they're trying to figure out whether there's a knot or not a knot in the rope. And the, the rope itself is just a smoke screen. It really doesn't matter. It's just about whether they can get into group consensus or not. argument like it's a nah you gotta there's a the whole meaning is about teamwork and about accepting if you made a mistake and arguing over a nah Situation. Nah, that's <laughs> and me, that's no man. 
Mom, mom, me mom. and our, my fellow brothers can't feel our hands anymore. That's all I got to say. It looks about seven feet, so we need to um, add a few more feet to the top. Okay. Uh, snow there. And we have another head coming. No, this is a futuristic snowman. No, all right. So. Sorry. <laughs> okay, hold on, stay there. Or some, where you go? Rock. On rock. On rock. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, I'm getting everything. Give me some more. That's it. Other way. That's cool. What? What are you here, Miami? I'm here. I feel amazing. I will put it on my resume and tell <laughs> um, all my employers and employees about it. And I'll put it on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ophelia is Lima College. Mm -hmm. We had a great team work today. Mm -hmm. We learned to respect other decisions all and to right. work with others. Great. Great. Learning a lot of leadership skills. Having fun, meeting new people, teamwork, make dream work. <laughs> Oh, man. It's a mess, but it's alright, you know. It's alright. 
We're having fun about it, though. We're learning something. That's the one thing. That, like, we're struggling and giving up. We're struggling but trying to figure it out. I'm sorry. I don't cook. I do takeout. I'm sorry. And for us, this is like a whole science, you know? Yeah, I care. That's the kind of cooking I'm using. This is true. We can do so much in the lab, but it comes to the kitchen, you know? Yeah. It's an experiment itself. How are you gonna cook your meat when you already have this stuff? I don't know. That's gonna take forever now. There, there are no instructions on this. No. It's only the ingredients. Yeah. Okay, but you can't put your ingredients well, you in the meat. Cook, if you don't know how to cook chili, how are you going to know what the hell you're doing? Yeah. We have to cook the meat first before anything. It's always like that. Don't you cook your meat before you put anything else? Yeah. How do you make ground beef? Or you put the seed? I don't know. Yeah. You have to cook the meat first. Right? Okay. I'm learning. So, I don't know. I'm having all that in. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to see it? I mean, it's good. Let's season it. He said we should put it all in at once. Yeah. Let's season it. How much do we have? Thank you. Letting everything just marinate together, soak up each other's key flavor and flavor. No, 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 this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I need to go That's what I need. Yeah. What's up? What about the hot sauce? I'm against the hot sauce. The You gotta take this parsley, you gotta chop it up. It doesn't look like it. Just, just, just make it real fine and then just sprinkle it. No, but no, no, nobody's trusted what you say. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> we don't wanna die, okay? Yeah, you see? Workshops were interesting, engaging. It, there was never a dull moment. 